Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a basic heat equation PDE problem. And what we're really going to focus on is doing one that has a non-homogeneity in it. So we're talking about a non-homogeneous boundary condition here. All right, so let's get started with the problem. What we have here is a UT is equal to um, DUXX. Uh, and we're going to say we're on a domain 0 all the way to 3. Okay, and I'm going to set D equal to 1. Again, I want to just make this really straightforward uh, and not have too much um, detail involved here. Okay, uh, and then of course we have for this, so this is a heat equation. And of course this is going to be essentially a model for the temperature in a uh, metal rod. Okay, so this metal rod, we're going to give the following boundary conditions. They're going to be non-homogeneous, so they're, they're going to be, um, they're going to be non-zero. So u at zero, uh, comma t, that's going to be equal to one. And u at three, at the other end of our rod, that boundary is going to be equal to zero. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, and I want to make this like the kind of problem I would put on an exam, and I'm going to give you a few facts, okay? Because I want to shorten up, uh, so to quicken uh, the solution, uh, we're going to note that W of X comma T solves uh, the problem W T is equal to d w x x uh, with with boundary with zero boundary conditions. Okay, so here what we have now is we basically have a homogenized equation. So okay, we have a homogeneous boundary condition there. So w x comma t, we're going to write that one out. Uh, for this particular boundary, it's going to be the sum, n goes from 1 up to forever, of bn e to the negative n pi over 3 squared times t times sine n pi over 3 x. All right, so this together makes up all the statement of the problem. So the goal... And again, this is very similar to the kind of problem I would put on my exam uh, for students. So the goal then is to find u of x of t using a w x of t uh, to save time. Okay, so let's get started with this problem. I'm going to move to another page, uh, and then we're going to see how to work it out. So the strategy... So the answer is going to involve uh, uh, u, we're going to express u in uh, terms of uh, a sum of a u equilibrium solution that satisfies the non-homogeneous uh, boundary conditions. And w x comma t. Okay. Oh, I forgot one thing. We should really go back. I forgot one thing, which was that of the initial condition. I'm sorry, I forgot this, guys. The initial condition is going to be u of x comma zero is equal to the function one. Okay. So our initial value of temperature is one across the whole thing. All right. Let's start our problem. All right. Uh, and satisfies an and wxt. So, uh, so this is what we're going to do here. So u of x comma t is going to equal u equilibrium of x uh, plus wx comma t. That's how we always start off. And we first have to now find what this equation is. So this is equilibrium. So the partial derivative of u e q is equal to zero in time, okay? And that means what we have here is u e q t is equal to zero is equal to u e q x x. Um, 
is equal to zero. All right, so of course, all we have to do now is integrate and we get ueq of x is equal, um, we still have the first derivative on there and that's gonna be a c1. And then we integrate one more time and we get ueq of x is equal to c1x plus c2. So that's our general solution. And then we have to just uh, check the boundary conditions here. And of course, u um, eq at zero is gonna be equal to one, um, which is equal to c2. Okay, we got that one. And now u eq at three is equal to zero, is equal to c1 times three plus one is equal to zero. Therefore, C1 is going to be equal to negative one-third. Okay, so U E Q is equal to negative one-third X plus one. All right, so that's the first part that we've gotten. Uh, let's just take a moment here to recognize what the solution is saying. If we have the temperature held at one at the X equals zero mark, um, and it's held at zero at the X equals three mark, what we have is a linear decline in temperature, um, a steady decline in temperature across the entire metal rod. That makes perfect physical sense to understand. Um, now what we have to do is incorporate this solution into everything else that we do. Okay, so the next part then is that we have to use the solution. So we know that u of x comma t is equal to negative one third x plus one uh, plus our, our W solution, which is the sum n equals 1 to infinity of b n e to the negative n pi over 3 uh, quantity squared times t times sine of n pi over 3 x. All right. All right. So the question then now is, what are the b n coefficients? What we have to do is examine uh, the... Uh, the initial condition, and we know that u of x comma zero, we said it was equal to one. So that means I have to just plug t equals zero everywhere on our, our solution. And notice here, when we're looking at this exponential, I'm setting time equal to zero, so that becomes one, and we have a sign n pi over 3 x. Uh, so here, of course, we have a Fourier sine series. So we have a Fourier sine series there, and now we have to see what it's equal to. So obviously, what we're going to have to do is move that over to the other side, and we get the following. Uh, well, we can see that the ones cancel, and we end up with a 1 third x is equal to the sum n equals 1 to infinity of bn times sine n pi over 3x. All right, so uh, to find the bn's, of course, we, we have to just use the, 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 Fourier, the Fourier sine series formula, which says 2 over the length of the interval, which is 3, integrate over the full interval, 0 to 3, times 1 third x, the function that we're setting everything equal to, times sine of n pi over 3x. All right, so we, and we're going to now integrate that. That should be straightforward. This is going to be integration by parts. So we have a 2 ninths. So I can move the 1 third out. And then what I have here is um, I have to take the antiderivative of sine, which is going to be negative cosine. We're going to use integration by parts here. Just like that. And we're going to evaluate it 0 to 3. And then it's going to be plus the integral from 0 to 3. And we have that 2 ninths sitting there. And then we also have a uh, cosine of n pi over 3x all over n pi over 3 dx. Uh, we can do a little simplification here. That 3 down there we can cancel with one of these. And we'll get a 3 there. That looks pretty good. Um, and then now we're going to get a, um, uh, uh, a, so we have to evaluate both of these terms here now. So we have 
this one we have to manage. So that's going to be a 2 over 3 over n pi. Uh, and then we're going to have a, uh, 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 a minus times 3 times cosine of n pi over 3 uh, times 3. Okay. Uh, and then we have a plus. We have a 2 there. And then we, we evaluate at zero, so we're going to get nothing. So there we go. Uh, and then we have a plus two-thirds, and then another, we're going to anti-differentiate cosine and get a sine, n pi over 3x, all over n pi over 3. But then we have to square uh, the n squared, because we have two of those down there. And then we evaluate at zero to three. Note that this whole thing goes away uh, because sine on any multiple of pi is zero. Okay, all right, so now we have the final thing here. What we have here is a negative two over n pi times cosine of n pi. I could also call that a, um, a two, um, and then cosine of n pi, that's actually negative 1 to the n power. But then I'm going to raise it one more power because of that negative there. Okay? Over n pi. Over n pi. So there's my bn coefficients. We finally found them. Now we can put everything together uh, into uh, the formula that we need. So the final answer. is going to be u of x comma t is equal to negative one-third x plus one, that's the equilibrium solution, plus the sum, n goes from one up to infinity, and then we have that negative one times two to the n plus one power there, okay, uh, of the negative one there, over n pi times e to the negative n pi over three quantity squared times t times sine of n pi over 3x. Okay, so there's our final answer with all of our pieces in it. Um, uh, those right there, the, they're the Fourier coefficients of essentially 1 minus UEQ of x. Uh, that's what your Fourier series is modeling, is not the initial condition, but the initial condition minus the equilibrium condition. And of course, here is our UEQ. All right, that satisfies the uh, boundary conditions of the non-homogeneity. So that's how you do it. Um, that's how you structure this problem. But what's really critical here is that, of course, uh, um, on uh, my exams, okay, if you're taking my class, if you're just uh, uh, just a, a, a person who's stumbled across these videos on YouTube, that's fine. Uh, on my exams, I like uh, to give... Uh, parts of the solution uh, pre-built. So the skill you need, you need to be able to, you know, um, essentially utilize the uh, the pre-built uh, parts. We need to utilize those pre-built parts effectively. Um, uh, in this case, they gave you the time-dependent general solution, and you had to integrate that in with everything else in the problem. Okay, so just be mindful of that. That's how you want to use it, it using these pre-built pieces. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next.